Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place of Finding Magic Afterbirth. We're gonna try to do the daily. It is Tuesday. Um, I don't want to talk about yesterday's daily. Is this a Lazarus start? Kind of looks like the geologist dude from Prometheus, but I'll take it. Um, I'm gonna try to do it. I say try because it is a Tuesday. Oh, it's Eden. Okay, it is a Tuesday. And uh, Tuesday means it's uh, Steam's maintenance. So we could run into problems here, but there's our... Uh, starting items, we got the Pokeball, we got Anti-Grav, and we're gonna take our pill. It's infested. That is absolutely fine. This is not necessarily a, uh, a poor start. I think I just captured four flies in my Pokeball. Midas Touch as well, huh? Um, four flies... By the way, I'm sure that there's probably gonna be a hundred comments about how I say freaking Pokeball weirdly. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I, maybe I do, maybe I don't. Uh, but, uh... I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to focus less on complaining about the daily, more focus on just doing it, because I've been getting complaints about it, and I'm not proud of my performance on yesterday's daily. Kate smoked the shit out of me on it. She got all the way down to the womb, uh, and apparently, like, what happened on yesterday's daily is there was, like, a, a tiny planet mom's knife that ended up messing up a lot of people, but even just having mom's knife, man, makes me feel like I missed on, uh, an awesome chance for a really excellent daily, but hey, that's that's life, man. Somebody's got to pat out the bottom of the leaderboard uh, in order to make other people feel better, and that can be me if that's okay. Hopefully, I just stop playing like complete shit, though. Um, obviously, what we're hoping for here is invincibility. Seems like invincibility could allow us to get uh, a lot of money and make the run exceptionally easy, which is awesome from a point standpoint, obviously. Uh, I'm... Maybe gonna slow down a little bit on shooting fires. Poops, I think, are a little bit more viable, but fires, ah, whatever. All right, so we got the Pokeball. We're gonna throw it out here. I have created one fly. The fly is flying around, not really doing too much of anything. Starting to think I probably should have tried to capture perhaps a slightly better enemy. This one appears to not really be getting the job done, to be honest with you. This all being said, we do have a golden heart as well, and I believe a golden heart, well, it gives you money when you lose the golden heart. I can't remember if it acts as actual protection, though, or if it, uh, if it only gives you the, uh, the heart, and also costs you the heart that you had before. So, def there you go, we've learned. It costs you the heart that you had before, but it does give you a lot of money. Okay, don't do what I'm doing here, this is very silly. Um... At the same time, we should be fine from an HP standpoint. I'm still doing what I said not to do. It's a very much like do as I say, not as I do kind of moment here. To pick up some money out of it, and we will be able to go down to the next floor. We have no keys, but we do have bombs. So it's in our best interest. Allow me to fix this frame rate issue. I know exactly what's causing it. Steam auto updater is like, hey, you want to buy Black Ops 3? I don't have any problem with Black Ops 3 Steam, but I'm not particularly interested in purchasing it right now, at the very least. Let's minimize this as well, and hopefully that will help. Okay. Maybe just give it a minute. Sometimes it takes a second to sort itself out. Um, I don't think we'll be able to get both keys, and I was incorrect. That's two keys for the price of one. Let's check out our shop then, uh, and I will buy a spirit heart. Now, this is a bit of a debatably uh, poor choice, I'll admit, because I'd like to keep enough money to spawn an arcade if possible on the next floor, but my... Kind of contingency plan was find a secret room. Our secret room has been found easily, and it contains uh, more than enough money. It actually contains a dangerous amount of money, because now I can go to our shop and maybe buy something else. Uh, but I don't want to buy... I think I do want to buy a blank card, actually. <laughs> I was like, I definitely don't want to buy Magic Fingers, at least not yet, even though that can be really fun later. Um, which, Magic Fingers being fun later sounds a little dirty, but uh, I'll not sweat my phrasing too much on that. Um, but blank card is too good. Lots of awesome synergies. I don't give a shit about how it helps with score. You know, if you get a two of diamonds or something, maybe it'll help. But um, mostly it's just a, a really, really fun item to have. And I think we're past the point of dailies being... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Curated, I guess is the word I'm looking for. I'm not... I'm, I was never 100% sure that they were being curated to begin with. But uh, I think we're past the point of them being curated if they were. So I, I'm not thinking that there's any, like, beautiful Pokeball synergy that happens later in this game. Later in this run, I should say. Maybe... I, if, if it did happen, I probably wouldn't even know what it looked like. So, uh, I'm not feeling too, you know, I'm not gonna beat myself up over that, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna try just using blank card. Because sometimes when you just use your spacebar item, you get value out of it. You get points out of it, I should say. We saw it with Yumheart. But it might be because it just simulated picking up a, um, picking up a red heart, which gives you X amount of points. 
Uh, I'm not sure, but I tried to use it to see if it would work. It didn't, so that is actually a load off my shoulders. I don't need to worry about that nonsense too much. Uh, we're shooting poop here just in case we need to buy a key or perhaps uh, another spear at heart. I don't think we'll need either, considering we're on the basement, but we'll try. I mean, we, we definitely want to make sure that we can go to our uh, item room, which is absolutely going to work out unless we open a very bad uh, balls of steel pill. Not balls of steel, bombs are key. Uh, but apart from that, we should be pretty much good to go here for this floor. Deal with the devil's important. I would love to pick up brimstone. I mean, I, I feel like a broken record a little bit, but uh, I keep not getting brimstone. It's a it's a weird change of pace for me as someone who used to get brimstone, you know, to the point where people complained about it. But now, uh, I've only had brimstone once in my entire uh, afterbirth career. It's been out for almost, well, like two and a half weeks, I guess, at this point. And, uh... It was on a run where I already had Mom's knife. Let me get some of these dope Brimstone synergies I see people talking about, you know? Let me get Brimstone Rubber Cement. Let me get uh, Brimstone Epic Fetus, which apparently has a cool synergy associated with it that I wouldn't have expected. Would like a bomb, but I'm not gonna pay for it. Probably. God's Flesh. Shrink Shot. So I think it's the first time I've picked up this item. I've re-rolled into it a lot, but I was always like, what's that weird mushroom on the side? Apparently it's God's flesh. I don't know, I don't wanna know what part of God the mushroom cap comes from. That's something that's best left, uh, you know, up to, up to, you know, imagination, I suppose. Uh, but I'm happy to have the item. I don't know if it's good, but it looks cool. So that is pretty much my uh, understanding of how that goes. Uh, let's, I don't think we can get all of these, but we can try. We can. Okay, I've just been colossally wrong about that. Now we're doing well on keys. We're obviously coming back in here with our bomb to open up this tinted rock and hoping for small rock. We got a golden chest instead that had a large assortment of keys in it, which I'm happy with. Basically traded a bomb and a key for two keys. So it was like a bomb for a key. No, wait, that doesn't work out. D ignore me for now. We also found our secret room. Secret room only gave us three cents. A little disappointing. Trying to get a little bit of a move on here because we're a little slower than I'd like to be for boss rush, but it's not horrible or anything like that. And we're just fighting Monstro, so... If we're a minute behind, like, leaving this floor, it's a little bit less relevant than, um... If we're a minute behind, like, really, really late into the game. Because we got plenty of time to come back. We haven't gotten any really over-the-top uh, offensive items yet, which is bad. But it also means that I shouldn't sweat, like, our splits right now, basically, because we should have an opportunity to maybe get an awesome deal with the devil item here. If we don't get one here, maybe on the next floor, maybe on the floor after that, etc., etc. So, I'm not going to worry about it too, too much just yet. And if we can't do boss rush, then I'm going to, you know, I, I generally think that I play faster than most people. Um, you might be watching this and saying, well, you don't play faster than me. That's also potentially extremely true. But I think I play faster than average, so if I don't make boss rush while trying to make boss rush, I'm assuming that most people are not going to make boss rush either. So from a score perspective, I'm not that uh, concerned about it. It would be really awesome if this was Lump of Coal. You may have noticed I took the range upgrade. That's largely because I just don't want to worry about what fucking 20 points means for our run anymore. I'd rather just have the fun of picking up all the items. And that is not Lump of Coal. I won't pick that up because it just gives us no benefit. We'll head down to the next floor. Feeling a little bit uh, suboptimal about the way that it's going so far, but things can change. I will check this out right away, and we got the Pact, which is, uh, you know, it might not always be the best idea to check out your, uh, your curse room right, right away, but I'm extremely glad that we did right here. This is going to not only speed things up for us, but also just be a, a pretty pivotal, uh, item if we end up having a, a winning run here. Nice dodge. One thing, instead of taking damage, I'm gonna try to focus on, or instead, <laughs> sorry, let me rephrase this. Instead of not taking items to min-max, I'm gonna try to focus on not taking damage. And of course that's obvious, you know, whenever you do an Isaac run, you're like, you want to take as little damage as possible, right? But there, you know, you could you could put a little extra effort into, into not taking damage. You could focus on your dodges a little bit more. That one was probably not a pretty good example of that, but the bonies are notorious for shit like that. Um, because the damage penalty really makes, like, a pretty huge difference, or at least can make a pretty huge difference. Like, Kate got to the, yeah, I'll take Blood of the Martyr. Kate got to the same level as me on a on a daily, and she beat the Hush as well. I think it was two dailies ago where we beat the Hush, we had like Super Mom's Knife or whatever on the... We were Kane, maybe, now that I think about it? I can't remember, but anyway. Um, we got to the same level, and I beat her by 2,000 points because of the differences. Oh my god, he was just really tiny. 
Uh, I beat her by 2,000 points simply due to the differences in, in the damage we've taken. So I really feel like, you know, that's the equivalent of taking like 100 items that you quote-unquote shouldn't take. So uh, I think that that's going to be a, a more relevant indicator of, of score. So if you, you know, put a little bit more effort into dodging instead of, you know, just ignoring items that are not necessarily doing gangbusters for you, I think that's going to be much better. See? Not complaining about score, being very positive about the daily challenge, actually. I hate to, I hate to, you know, jump to, I'll take this, even though it's just fear shot, but I hate to jump to rash, rash decisions on things. If there's one problem that I have with the internet, and, you know, most people have more than one problem with the internet, so I consider this fairly fair, but if there's one problem I have with the internet, it's like, read a headline, get super angry without actually reading the article, and then be like, this is my opinion and nothing can ever change it. And that's, uh, you know, I, I feel like I might have been guilty a little bit of that with the daily challenges. Being like, you know, I don't like this because this isn't the way I've normally played. And then, you know, you talk to other people who also have issues with the scoring system on daily challenges. And they're like, yeah, it's fucked up. Rabble, rabble, rabble. But, you know, I'm not saying I'm the biggest fan of the scoring system. But uh, I, I think that they bring more than they take away. Luckily, we got our secret room there. Like, I really like having the extra competition. Um... We can push that TNT barrel, it's really just a matter of whether or not we want to spend the time. Time is a little bit of the essence. Oh my god, I fucked it up so bad. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's see if we can buy a bomb from our shop back here. I'd also love to buy a tarot card, so starter deck would be like a great choice if we could get it, maybe. Ooh, a little dangerous. Um, we gotta check the card first. It's a, it's a card, two of clubs. So I think we'll buy... This and this, then. That that seems like we, we basically just got it all worked out. Um, I'm going to use our bomb to get to the secret room. I thought maybe we'd be able to skirt around it, but no. We're still going to need to use our bomb to get to the secret room. Uh, we got three cents out of that. Then we're going to two of clubs. And we're going to blow up this guy and get some more money out of it, presumably. That's a nickel. And... This is slowing us down to the point that I'm a little nervous. But I'm really happy to have the two of clubs here. That's obviously, like, two of clubs plus... Uh, Blank card is half a bomb every single room, at worst. At best, of course, they could give us, you know, exactly what we need at all times. Uh, we could get to 99 bombs pretty easily. So I will be uh, a little silly about this, and we'll try to push this out of the way. Don't get hit by that fire. I would be very displeased with myself. Um, and then we'll extinguish this. This might be a colossal waste of time. But it provided us with a decent number of benefits there, so I consider that okay. And we are going to be a little slower, or, you know, to be honest with you, like a lot slower than I'd like to be right now. Going to be about a minute and a half behind schedule for, for boss rush, which is kind of damning. But if we're not strong enough to do boss rush anyway, then we might as well take the time, right? Let's take our HP, head down to the next floor. It's about a minute and a half slower than I'd like to be right now, but we can still make this work. This is a double key room right off the bat. Interesting. Uh, I, I like it. I think we still use a bomb. And we're, we're gonna use a lot of bombs here. Just just get used to that. That is Infamy. Head of the Keeper for Penny Tears. This is where I warn you that, you know, if you're sensitive to... Or if you're photosensitive, I should say, be careful. Um, this is a crazy good room for us. Because there's gonna be a lot of, like, flashing lights on the screen because of these Penny Tears. But Penny Tears are really, really cool. I, I like them quite a lot, and I'm, I'm stoked to have them on this run. They also explode in money oftentimes, so this should mean really good things for us from a score perspective. Um, Infamy, also a good pickup. Able, you know, I, I was kind of hoping that maybe we'd get something a little bit better than that out of our options there, but still. I, I'm, I'm pretty psyched about the, the way that that room worked out for us. Dead Cat for nine lives, that's awesome. Uh, we still don't have Deal with the Devil precedent, so it may never end up being worthwhile for us. Uh... Except on its own merits, which are still pretty large, but, uh, that's okay. Again, I don't mind using bombs. I'm, I'm trying not to focus on getting to 99 bombs and instead focusing on, you know what, we can't go into our boss trap room. Uh, instead focusing on just having two bombs available whenever we need them. I think we'll try this. So far, these have been extremely good for us. Well, there we go. We're going to get to 10 bombs next time anyway. Um, it's an extremely, extremely high quality floor so far. We're still going to be short of our boss rush chance, but this floor should give us the opportunity um, to, to maybe make up some time because we'll get a deal with the devil or a deal with the angel. Uh, if it's a deal with the angel, I guess maybe we fight the angel statue just for the chance to get more points out of it. I don't know if you even do get more points out of it, but 
This is roughly the time where I'd like to be leaving this floor to guarantee us a, the best chance possible for boss rush. But hey, if we get an Emperor card, that's also incredible for us here. I just love the way that those penny tiers look, man. Even if they're not 100% incredible always, they look so cool. So there we go. We got up to 10 bombs. Um, hopefully this is the right way. Blue map does give us a little bit of vision. If we could at least just not lose time on this floor, I'd consider that okay. Fruitcake for rainbow tier effects. That's very scary. Some of these tier effects are awesome. Some of them are terrible. I just played the two of clubs effect, so I don't know why that happened, but it, it did. We, we used it last room. Okay, blank card rune is obviously like a classic, uh, classic outcome here. Blank card to gauze. Where is this enemy? Fucking fear shot, man. Blank card to Gauze is good. Blank card Algas is good. Blank card Onsus is good. Blank card Burkanos, the worst of them. Blank card Perthro gives us the D6. So we will pop two of clubs, pop Onsus for vision, and realize we're going the wrong way. Pop the Gauze, take Perthro. All right, I think this is the right way to do it. Even if we're not going to really be able to use it on this floor. So this is going to be a uh, boss rush is going to be a real fucking challenge. Let's put it that way. Uh, I don't really like our odds of getting to it. We're going to be leaving this floor maybe like a full floor behind where we'd like to be. And not really wanting to take the Emperor. Um, I mean, if we got it, I probably wouldn't be mad. We'll go back with Perthrow. If we got it, I probably wouldn't be mad because boss rush is so, so important from a score perspective. But a oh, sticky bomb coins is really funny. Also the protagonist of Sleepy Hollow, if I remember correctly. Oh my fucking god, just die! Okay, again, stop taking dumb damage. Stop taking dumb damage. Just give me mom's knife, like right here, and we can make it. Why won't you die? You're still not dead! Okay, this is a full fucking tilt, full tilt poker right now. Just relax. I'm gonna come back up here. I'm gonna grab her throw. I can't wait till Full Tilt Poker start, starts uh, sponsoring esports, man. This is your Full Tilt Poker, Full Tilt moment. I think we don't use Perthrow. We shouldn't have even picked these up. It's just a waste of our points. But um, the Full Tilt Poker joke needs a little bit more time in the cooker, I'll admit. But the the, the theory is there. Okay, so I want uh, Humbling Bundle. Good for consumables. I We can come back here for batteries later if we need them. Because battery plus Perthrow could be really good for us. Let's become Guppy. If we can't become Guppy, that's okay as well. Let's get Mom's Knife. This is a great opportunity for us. This damage is obviously stupid, and I'm an idiot for taking it, but... You know, we're, we're, we're doing something here. Get out before 16 and a half minutes, at least. Okay, we got Razor Blade, which is not good, but inside of our Devil Room. Instead, we got Contract from Below, which I do like, and then... Reroll it, Sack Dagger. Oh, I think if we walk out and then walk back in, it'll just reroll into something random, so I don't like that, but we'll we'll try it anyway. Please don't don't burn me on this one. It became Guppy's collar. We have to take it for the chance to become Guppy. We'll head down to the next floor. We're so slow. There's still a chance of that almighty boss rush. I think if we just absolutely do not make any mistakes like with the direction that we're going. And maybe if I could actually like hit enemies, that'd be pretty nice as well, but you know, you can't always get what you want, I suppose. Almost dead. Almost dead. Red chests are also like basically non-negotiable. One makes you small, infested. Tears up, these are great pickups. Not sad at all. Humbling bundle, contract from below, paying for themselves. I kinda hate it, but we gotta try. Yeah, it, it might fuck us a little bit, but we gotta give it a shot. I'm, I'm getting more and more attached to the idea that we probably won't be able to do boss rush here. And you know what? Life goes on. If that is indeed the case. I'd really love to. But, um... We don't get to decide that 100% for ourselves, unfortunately. That was actually a very fast uh, recovery on that room. If we skip the item room on this floor, I, I will. But if we have to, I should say I will. But uh, I, I obviously didn't have to, which is even better. Lots of money. Loads of money. Glass cannon. It still lowers you to one spirit heart, which I think means we can't take it. Uh, which means we should perthrow. And we perthrowed it into uh, the fingernail shots, which I think is just going to make our shots much larger. I know Pupula Duplex is actually like, you know, 
Is it probably like some kind of terrible macular conditioning or condition, not conditioning, but uh, yeah, this is. Um, I think it's okay. Again, if you're photosensitive, it's not gonna get any better from this point on. So you know, be be very aware of that. So we gotta try for this. I think we gotta try for this. I was hoping, obviously, for a uh, for an emperor card. I would get rid of Perthrow for it at this point. We're not gonna be going to our secret room here. If you're mad at me for this. I'm a victim of circumstance just as you are. You know, boss rush is too many points to ignore. But we're getting to the point where like, are we really gonna make it to our boss fight in one minute on the next floor? I would hazard to guess that's probably pretty unlikely. And once it becomes uh, impossible, that's when we'll be like, okay, slow down a little bit. Cool your jets. And, uh, and we'll, we'll be smarter about our, our choices, knowing that we won't be able to get that like truly upper echelon kind of scoring going on. But we are, we're building a very, very strong run here. I'm happy with the Pupula Duplex for wider shots. You know, the bigger our hitbox is, the easier it is for us to hit enemies, which has been a problem with Fruitcake a little bit. Sticky bomb shot I should not have even been close to. to. Way too much damage. Way, way too much damage. Okay, no deal with the devil. I will take super bandage, though. We'll head down to the next floor. We got one minute! If we really, really push it, we might be able to get in there. Um... I, you know, I gotta go with my heart. My heart says second secret room is usually the way to get to boss rush. So we will, uh, we'll come this way. It's worth noting we have to do it. We also have to beat boss rush. But at least we're gonna have the opportunity. And if we die, we still have a run here. So it's not as high risk as you might expect. I'm a big fan of that. Okay, it's a black heart. That's very helpful. We have our Perthrow rune. Doesn't matter what we take. We do need to beat mom quickly enough. But it doesn't matter what we take. Uh, when it comes to the negative or the Polaroid. I think one important strategy is literally just fire at all times. That way, you know, you have tears. No matter what direction something pops up, you're gonna be able to get some hits in. Great stuff. Still on time. Look, it's not gonna be with a, with a lot of time to spare. I don't think we'd care about black powder. We got it. We got to go into boss rush. So let's take this quickly. <laughs> we made it with a second left. All right, we got the cancer item. We got uh, infestation. We got mom's contact, and we got this thing which I don't remember, which could be amazing or it could be horrible. I think we just take the cancer item to be safe. But mom's contact is great as well. But I I'd really like to have the extra spirit hearts for for survivability's sake, um, and hopefully they'll give us the chance to reroll our deal with the devil. I recognize that this is probably a little bit of a, a cop-out, like the item I took here. And let's not ignore, like, the fact that we are going to be missing out on our item room as a result of this. And we missed out on our chance at, uh, at that deal with the devil, or at least at the second deal with the devil item. I think it was the right decision on a daily challenge, but, like, definitely the wrong decision if you're not on a daily. But, that's, uh, that's life. You know, the daily challenges, they're supposed to add some variety, and this is, this is definitely variety. I should note, whenever we have permanent Polaroid invincibility, we also have Midas Touch, so if we can just walk into enemies... Uh, only when I'm invincible, not when they're frozen with Mom's Contact, but... Um, we'll, we'll get a lot of benefits out of that. Let's try not to just completely throw our HP away, if possible. Basically killed Mega Fatty with Midas Touch instantly. Sack Dagger would have been a good choice if we're gonna run that strat, and I've just taken even more damage. Again, my number one thing is really just making sure that we live here. If we live, I'm gonna be stoked. If we die, I'm gonna be a little pissed. But we will still be able to have a run thanks to 9 lives. So that was just a, a, a very clutch item for us to have. I can't believe Monster 2 has lived this long, by the way. I'm starting to think that maybe Blank Card Algiz might have been the actual right choice. As a result of its ability to give us that Midas Touch. Whenever we need it. Well, not whenever we need it, but on occasion at least. Getting a lot of black cards as well. Don't fully know what's causing that, but I'm in. I would expect this boss rush to take a long time, by the way. Just get yourself prepared for that. Okay. Little Horn is dead. Please stop teleporting when I have 100 shots trained on you. Shouldn't have stood there, but we made it work. Come on, come on. I mean, this is the thing that is worth noting right now, is our damage kind of sucks. Or at least it's not at the level you'd like it to be. Uh, I'd really like a teleport card, 
So we can actually get out of here, check out our item room, check out our shop. You know, we've got the resources to make those work. Uh, and then come back and get our Perth Row Rune, because the Perth Row Rune is still pretty important. If I could go back in time, I really wish I'd just given myself like a little bit more, um... Like literally if I'd given myself 10 seconds. So I could actually reroll Black Powder into something else. Not that Black Powder is bad, but we're really kind of holding out hope for that one guppy item, right? I would... Oh! Walk into him. If War comes back quickly, we can walk into him as well. But either way, every time we get hit, we're picking up consumables, so... Uh, we're, we're making money and we're making points here either way. Especially with the existence of these red hearts. Or the existence of these uh, black hearts just showing up randomly is also excellent. One thing's for sure, definitely a much better daily than, than yesterday. Because um, we're alive. Um, you also don't get points for doing hush as we found out the hard way, so... Uh, we're going to ignore that even if we make it in time for uh, the hush fight, which honestly is, is probably unlikely if we're <laughs> being realistic. Okay, the bloat is the worst, so... Wait for him to jump is my thinking. Man, the godhead shot so wide that it just crushed his chances there. He took so much damage just without even being like in the raid, uh, the, the line of sight. That's awesome. I don't know, man. Maybe this run is curated. We do have a lot of money themed items right now. I think it's fair to say that my plan of avoiding uh, taking damage hasn't fully worked out. Of course, you know, the best laid plans of mice and men and all that. Where is my enemy? Oh, whoa! Polycephalus just out of nowhere. Of course, I was standing there so the enemy didn't spawn on top of me, but that's not how it works in greed mode. If you're the lost and an enemy spawns on top of you, he just spawns on top of you because that is life is the lost. Come on. Come on. We all know that this one's going to end exactly the same way. If we can just get this guy to walk into our shots, he will take damage because anti-grab is actually good like that. Regular version of the haunt should be completely fucked here. All we need to do is surround ourselves with tears. Basically do exactly the same thing right there. We'll just stand here. If we can take out Mega Ma in the meantime, that's awesome. I don't remember when boss rush ends. New boss rush, anyway, so one day maybe we'll sort that out. I, I honestly, like, I have no idea how many waves we've gone through, how many waves are left to do. That sucked right there. But pop up, pop up. There we go. Minus touch took him out. It's just a dark one. Charge us, please. Thank you. Get started on the next wave. Adversary's no joke. Little Steven, kind of a joke. Already dead. Somehow I didn't get hit there. Floor's looking real messy right now. What's great about this run right now is that we haven't actually lost more than like a half heart. I think that's actually literally what we've lost is one single half heart. I mean, obviously we've been hit more than that, but from a net like loss standpoint, actually now we're probably in the clear again. All right, so we got, uh, this is the Forsaken, if I remember correctly. I don't even know what I'm shooting at, to be honest with you, but I want to try to basically make these enemies kill themselves. Probably walked on some creep or something there. I don't know. I took damage again. I really thought I could get in there and kill the Forsaken before it got too damaging. Um, again, very poor damage. You know what happened there was a... One of my rainbow shots exploded in my face. Ah, there we're done. Rainbow baby, speak of the devil. We're going to per-throw that. And we per-throwed it into Eden's Blessing. So next run, we get an, a random item. I have no idea what this is going to do for us. Uh, these are still giving us points, albeit not too many. Is it literally like one point plus the number of coins you pick up? You know what, maybe we do... Uh, we don't want black powder. Oh, 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 I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a bold decision. I'm gonna per throw it. I regret this decision immensely. I was thinking if we get a guppy item, it'll be so valuable for us. I just missed a tinted rock there too. Um, well, probably. Well, where's our second secret room? It's down here, so I'm thinking this is probably where our boss is. Uh, obviously, bad decision. 
Why did I do it? Thought we'd have a great chance of becoming Guppy. And also kind of thought like, well, we're not gonna use the Perthrow that much anyway. We might, we have one more boss site and one more deal with the devil, right? Uh, so I, I figured we'd take an extra crack at that one. And it ended up being a poor decision. I would not recommend that to, to friends and family. That being said, the loss of the Perthrow rune, it shouldn't really impact our performance on this run. Oh, that was just terrible. We're only beating Mom's heart, so... Uh, as long as we can live, it's, not, it's a non-issue. That was very easy. Thank you. Guppy. <laughs> not guppy, but much more survivable as a result. And we'll take these, and we'll take this and see what we got going on in here. Mr. Fred. Stand as far back as is humanly possible. I think we can get some pretty easy diagonal shots going here. We just want to make sure we're not in the range of his, like, actual creep buster. And he'll be dead. We did get a deal with the devil. Our deal with the devil is here. And it's Guppy? It is Guppy! Oh, okay, so we'll definitely take that. Um, and you know what? I will take Matchbook, just because maybe we can use the extra black card. But mostly I'm, I'm stoked for the flies here. This is how our run is going to end, basically. I, I don't really care about fighting Hush, unless it's been patched. Uh, in order to make it so the Hush actually gives you points. At which point, I would maybe consider it. I mean, we got the keys for it, but... Uh, to be honest with you, I, I don't find the Hush that fun right now. I have been, uh, and that's not me complaining, just me stating my opinion for now. But I have seen some feedback, people were like, here's how you ta tackle the hush. You know, shoot for a little while, stop shooting, shoot for a little while, stop shooting, etc, etc. Um, maybe that would, you know, if I actually put that to the test, that'd be better for us. But I don't want to risk dying on today's daily. I also don't know if we're even going to be able to make it to the hush fight, now that I look at it. You know, we're at 29 minutes already. I've chosen the wrong direction. I don't even know how you get to the hush fight. I, I think it's under under 30 minutes, so we might still have a chance, but, you know, anything can happen. We got potentially a lot of rooms left over here. Apparently not. I really also don't want to die nine times against uh, the hush. And maybe that's fallacious reasoning, but it, that is the way it feels right now. All right, just line these shots up. This is already over. I'm happy we became Guppy. It happened a little later than I'd like, but that's okay. We don't even get the chance to fight Hush, so so that's that. What is this? this is like a cattle prod item. I'm not going to pick it up because items cost us points. So we will just leave. We should probably pick up the penny. And these ones. And that'll do it for our daily today. I think we did okay. Rank is 124th. Time is 802nd. 822nd. Uh, that's pretty great, actually. That's maybe our best time rank, because I usually shoot for score. And, uh... That's up there in terms of the... The score as well! How did that happen? Larson, what happened, man? 852 is like dying on the first floor. I guess I could see that happening. You do only start with 2 HP. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.